far as learning about Balinese gamelan, I first learned about it when I checked out a CD from the public library. It was called American Works for Balinese Gamelan. And I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. The fast kotekon, the interlocking parts, it, it seemed impossible. Like, how, how, how can they possibly do this music? It was so fast, the technique was uh, incomprehensible to me. So it really left a strong impression. Kesan seperti itulah yang membuat sekelompok warga Amerika ini tergugah mendalami musik tradisional Bali. Di satu-satunya kelompok gamelan Bali di Kansas City, Genta Kasturi. When you first start out, the instruments are, are pretty easy to play. And so it's it's a great thing for people who aren't familiar with it because you can start in with a with an easy part and also everything is in twos so there's someone else playing your part with you so you can kind of play along with another person and learn the part from you know watch them Sebagian besar anggota berpengalaman bermain musik tapi ada juga yang baru belajar seperti Carmen diaspora Filipina yang bergabung 2019 setelah melihat pertunjukan di Nelson Atkins Museum of Art I've always been interested in other cultures What's the hardest thing? Well, everything for me is a challenge because I've never played an instrument before. It's reading the notes and being able to play it in the instrument. But not only that, I have to play with the entire group. You know, those are things that I've never done before. People come with all different, from all different places, but we all can kind of share the same sort of thing so we can enjoy our similarities and our differences. Genta Kasturi dibentuk 2003 oleh komposer, pengajar, dan seniman Bali, Iketut Gede Asnawa, bekerja sama dengan University of Missouri, Kansas City. Walau kini tanpa pengajar maupun anggota Indonesia, mereka saling belajar dan mengajarkan semua instrumen yang diboyong dari Bali ini. We have to kind of keep resurrecting that old material, keep it alive and fresh, but um, we also have to, uh, you know, continually find some new material, which is tricky because we're just about on the opposite side of the planet from Bali and there's not a, a large Bali population in Kansas City. Latihan dua kali seminggu, dua jam per sesi, di rumah salah satu anggota terlama. It's really important to me that the gamelan be more than a performing group, that we are more or less a social group as well. And I encourage us, we've had a parties and we've had open rehearsals where we play under my, the tree in the backyard and it, I've invited the neighbors. And There are a lot of things about this music that I think are really adaptable and applicable to American life, such as the uh, kind of community nature of it. It's something that uh, I feel kind of replaces some things that we've lost in our culture. Just getting together to do a group activity with, you know, kind of a goal or, you know, some complexity to it that we just are, are working toward. Kelompok gamelan yang berulang tahun ke-20 ini, kali ini bersama grup tari setempat bersiap pentas di Ethnic Enrichment Festival, festival budaya internasional yang digelar 18 hingga 20 Agustus. Dari Kansas City, Missouri, Ariadna Budianto, Rifan Dwiastono, dan Virginia Gunawan, VOA.